Bill Maher, the nigger guy. Oh, Bill, Jesus Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> Bill Maher, the nigger guy. <laughs> Then there's a clip of him saying, I'm a house nigga. <laughs> Bill Maher, the nigger guy. Oh, shit. It's the, the new theme for his show. Our show, too. Uh, we're using been, that. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That was a every, powerful introduction. <laughs> for every week. <laughs> Bill, Bill, <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill. Inertia uh, is a property of matter. <laughs> 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 Woo! It He's would be a, great if Bill Nye started yeah, saying yeah. it now. <laughs> and when Bill Maher starts wearing a bow tie, but he starts wearing like a Mr. Bojangles bow tie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he has to go Islam now. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's Brother Muzone from now yeah. on. What? Well, uh, Bill Maher did the London terror attack to make up uh, for. Yeah. He and went you know to what? London. He was like, you know what? I'm going to win. The narrative. I'm going to win back the people further left than me <laughs> by committing a terrorist attack <laughs> in the whitest city on earth. I think it evens out. I think one end bomb and uh, going, doing London is too far, dude. Yeah, that's like that's, that's our far? mecca. <laughs> it's filled with like top hats and that's going to be the capital of men ke- that call each other sir <laughs> yeah where f- they have like different gloves for what time of day it is <laughs> so I got blood on me afternoon gloves <laughs> after wearing morning gloves after 1pm <laughs> this, this man is wearing morning gloves to low tea <laughs> what are you a cossack yeah, that's what that's what our mecca of Kekistan is going to be one day. Dude, Adam I just learned the word Kekistan. I can't so he's wait. Dropping dude. a reference to it. Yeah, what's that? What's Kekistan? It's what's like going to be like it's everyone's a Pepe is, thing. It's, it's like a Pepe Frog boys. Twitter, Frog Twitter's proposed country. I saw the funniest uh, shit. It was like a map of like the new countries once the entire world is red pilled, and there's like Kekistan. I'm probably fucking it up, but there's like Kekistan and like. For Chanistan or oh, whatever, Jesus. and like like uh, M, like MRA Berg right, or whatever, right, right, right. And then on that map, then it just says Russia. Like Russia stays. <laughs> Russia's chill. Everything else is still is a different country now. <laughs> it's like Russia's already man, sort of like a meme country. To that's begin so with. funny. The trolls knew, know what they're doing, man. What's Greece in that? I wonder. You know, uh, Greece is Greece uh, is not white. That's sunk what that is. into the ocean. What? Yeah. Even though we invented pedophilia. Which I'm pretty sure Pepe's get down with. That's why they fucking disclaimed Milo. You know what really? I like to call Greece? That's what I like when people people are like, oh, these guys are all Nazis or whatever. We have to, like... Which was just a bullshit campaign tactic that we had to, like, fear the alt-right, you know? Mm-hmm. They're just people with computers, you know? It's not really... They're dorks. Well, they would probably yeah. beat you up. Yeah, well, you, of them. for sure. Yeah. They don't have tactical training, and they don't, they're not preppers like me. But you're, prepper, you're, you're thinking you mean, of fluff. You carry an inhaler around with you. No, he means he's on prep. No, so he get yeah, fucked in the ass raw. <laughs> yeah, <he's, laughs> that's what a prepper is, right? Yeah. I thought that's what it was. In the future, gay sex apocalypse, <laughs> we're all living bunkers. I'm a all living in genderless in, bunkers in Adam's ass. No, I'm a doom, Adam. doomsday prepper, bro. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they were just gay guys It's just each when other. all the gay guys <laughs> <laughs> Happy Pride Month everyone Oh well, yeah it's Queen, anyhow, It's the Queen's Pride Parade and What Sunday I say is So like They have all this like online bullshit or whatever That got turned into like Scary information But it's mostly just 4chan jokes and that's Yeah what, Yeah But they are racist and dickheads yeah, right so what what do you mean? So what? I don't know. Like so, like what? The, th- people are acting like there just hasn't been racist people That's in the true. world before. Yeah, yeah, but I don't. We don't have to bangs with them. They're not mm. our boys. I mean, a lot of them are. Uh, that's true. If you if you're paying Nazi pricing, uh, you're our boys. No, they're <laughs> yeah. stealing. Dude. Yeah, they're probably stealing. I guess. Um, I don't. Um, no, I, think I don't gay. know what you mean. Like so that you just think that racism's always been around. So it's a new name. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, is that it's, what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, I kind of buy that. Really? I, well, I think like, I mean, I, but it what, what I'm saying, nice. what I'm saying is bullshit. Is like the, uh, like, it, it was part of like framing Donald Trump as this guy that can't be president because of the scary consequences, and then the runoff from that was everybody being afraid of like the alt right, and it's like, 
They're just tro- it's just. I mean, troll. I just think that right. they're like, Proud Boys. There's nothing to be. Well, Proud Boys is like Gavin. Right. They're like, like a Gavin's little bit like community. tools, though, right? What do you mean? Like I'm, I'm. I this is not an original thought. I saw someone had a tweet about this, but they were like, they're basically just putting on costumes and like cosplay and go to college campuses so Jared could make more money. Like that's like they're kind of tools in all of this as well, right? Well, Jared didn't invent the alt right. I'm just saying that like they're like. You know, Subway Jared, yeah, Subway Jared, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Subway Jared. Um, well, I think they're gay, and I think uh, it sucks that young. Like the narrative was always like young people are going to stop being racist, but it does suck that a bunch of trolls are just. Yeah, even but how if it's many a of bit, them are there? I don't know. I don't even think it's that many people. You're right, but whatever. Yeah, um, it's not. It's not a lot of people. It's not certainly not people. enough to like influence how they're Donald just Trump good at the internet president. that's, nobody that's what it is it's racists no, who are good at the internet no, yeah, but nobody like, would have given a shit first of all that's what the internet was I that's mean, true like, you're that's, right that is the internet people, like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a small YouTube. subset of the internet the internet was just that that was the internet until like two years ago when that's true I, you know people started using it to get mad about Ferguson right but I mean the majority of the internet for a long time was like people using the n-word on Xbox live sure and in YouTube comments yeah, I mean YouTube's still like for Justin Bieber's yeah. baby. He's oh yeah, I thought he had a baby, but you mean the the, the song. song baby? Yeah, it's a good jam. One of my favorite, <laughs> my I favorite YouTube song. comments. My favorite YouTube comments. It was the YouTube video for uh, the Taylor Swift one. Yeah, for Shake It Up, and then the like the top comment or one of the top comments was. Uh, a guy whose username was James Bond, <laughs> and then the, all the comment was was just the N word. Yeah, and it was like <laughs> the top comment <laughs> yeah. for a Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully that hasn't been taken out of place. No, um, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we we should fear the alt right. I mean, that's that's stupid. Well, no, I, was, I yeah, don't think that was that, like that, a dumb. That was a good. That, I don't think it, that like nobody would have given a shit if Hillary hadn't mentioned the alt right. Right. Uh, yeah, right. she like yeah. The, she mentioned Pepe. It's like, it's whatever. I that mean, poor Pepe guy, man. That's a funny web comic. Yeah, or whatever. Like that shit's funny. Um, I'm sorry. What's it's funny? The original thing. What's it called? It, it's just a funny thing. I just I, feel the original bad. memes were good. I'm, I, I just feel, feel bad, bad that they got taken. I think the main victim here is Mr. Anthony Cumia, That's who's true. not going to be allowed in Kekistan <laughs> because he's not a real white person. <laughs> He is, uh, I guess he's Sicilian. Tunisian or whatever. No. Yeah. no he looks... I call Dude, did you see that? North Africa. Did you see that picture of him? Like, yeah. <laughs> with yeah, that yeah. fucking curly-ass yeah. mullet? It's yeah. awesome. A- Dude, a- sorry, Anthony. Anthony. Is Antonin uh, uh, Kumia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was very funny. Whoever did that, it wasn't Adam. It certainly wasn't Brandon Wardell. I don't know who made that meme, but good job. <laughs> Which one? The picture of, like, Ant on... Somebody, like, photoshopped Ant on, like, a... CNN, like uh, article, but were, I forget which terrorist. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was some. But ter- they were yeah. like, yeah, Tunisian man, a- Anthony. Oh, because he's like dark. Tunia. His old, yeah, his old pics. Yeah. He looks fucking. Yeah. He looks North African for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, to use a burn that uh, someone I think Con Quinn did on ONA years ago, he called him a Tunisian knife fighter. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking. That's really good. A Corsican pimp. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we was, I wish we was wow, podcast that. wars, guys. We're no, no it. podcast wars. Yeah, respect. Yeah, total respect. One hundred. It's gonna get back. It's gonna respect. get back to them. The, the, the ant's gonna pull the clip again of you talking shit on. <laughs> yeah, I am, and they're gonna play it. It's and but then, it's just. Yeah, and then they're gonna pull that picture that I posted of myself and then, all and then, the time. And then uh, the, his two. UFC guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Who the fuck we'll is see. that? <laughs> Listen, I just I hope he gets into Kekistan, but he's not a real white person, so it's not my problem. Someone's <clears throat> trying to start shit between me and Lewis because I made fun of his fidget spinners, and you know what? I'm doing real last podcast on Wednesday, and I will make fun of those fidget spinners. <laughs> 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 it's like something I'm going to keep behind closed doors. I don't know what he's doing, and you know what? It's not even talking shit. I care about him. Yeah, he's a friend. He's a of friend. Mine. <laughs> Can yeah, I say he's going to get his fucking son taken away? <laughs> I swear to God, if if because the fidget spinners. Well, yeah, I mean, if imagine you're working at Child Protective Services, <laughs> and you I think see that's a man, evidence. you see a man posting that many videos of fidget spinner that's tricks. True. 
you're going to say, okay, this is an I am Sam you can situation. Hear, <laughs> <laughs> you can hear James yeah. begging for food in the background of all those videos. <laughs> yeah. I am Lewis. <laughs> um, he came, he spit her slide up. He brought. He uh, went to a barbecue and Lewis was there, and he brought like nine fidget spinners. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke at all. Does and, he keep uh, them in his jacket like yeah. a, like a bootleg watch salesman? <laughs> but can I say they were tight? They were fun to play with. Oh, they you are know? fun to play with. Guess what? You're fired You're oh, off the podcast, fuck, dude. I've got squatters rights, dude. No, it's just me and I, Nick. I wow. got squatters rights on the podcast. You can't kick me out, bitch. Yes, I can. No, squatters' rights. No, that's not. If you first no, of all legally in I've, the contract, I've this there was out a, with the lawyer. A specifically a fidget spinner clause. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Fuck, dude. How did you know they were gonna be a thing when we signed our official because legal I'm a paperwork? Fucking very good businessman. He's a trendsetter too. Do you have? Did you buy stock in it? In what fidget, fidget spinners? spinners? No, all my money's tied up in cryptocurrency. That's true. Although the logo for Ripple. Mm-hmm. Looks a lot like a fidget spinner. Mm. Oh, Coincidence? I, yeah. I don't think so. Let me let me pull it up right now. Yes, please do. Please do, my friend. Um, by the way, I'm so sad I couldn't fucking go hat shopping with you guys. You know how sad I was? Yeah. Did you buy any I, hats? Yeah, we bought about $900 <laughs> in hats yesterday. <laughs> uh, what kind of hat? We, let's all be hat guys. Empty void. <laughs> What kind of hat should we be? Yeah, I want actually, a floppy I gotta hat. Say, I got to say, hat shopping yesterday was uh, was pretty fun. Uh, but I kept there. De- I kept asking the staff if uh, the, each hat I was trying on was ladies or men's, and it was three <laughs> lesbians working there, and they're like, "It's all unisex." <laughs> yeah, there it is. The ripple logo. Oh, it does look like a fidget spinner. Wow, wow. wow. They Doesn't it look? They, don't desist. you agree, folks? <laughs> listening yeah. at home, <laughs> look it up. XRP Ripple, <laughs> the cryptocurrency that I'm pumping and dumping on the podcast. <laughs> um, what kind of hats should we get? I want to get a floppy hat for the summer, like a fisherman's hat. They have those, like a those bucket Greek, hat? No, the Greek ones. You're talking about the little black ones with the braid around. No, I, that's too cla- That's too on the nose. No, Greek. you need to get that. I want like a. Stop! I only support you wearing that. You think so? Yeah, I want you like looking real Zorba sorbid the Greek. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want you looking like. Dun, 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 I want a big ass dark wing duck hat. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I want a floppy one though, a floppy fisherman's hat with like the little yeah. The Nick wants like a Cuban grandpa hat. No, you I should want get a dark wing duck a hat. Struct- they have, yes, they have Panama hats there. Although yes, I remember Panama reading hats. one time that the uh, you can tell if a Panama hat's good because you can like roll it. You can roll the entire you hat up. That shit. It, like it should be like the diameter of like a cigar. And the Whoa. weaving won't fuck up. Yeah, the weaving won't fuck up. Yeah, they're so finely threaded. Hell yeah. yeah, dude! Can you smoke piff in that shit? Why would you smoke anything out of a Panama hat? It's That's, supposed to be very lightweight because you, so you, you can sit like in the that. shade in your. In your nice, like, linen sucker suit. <laughs> yes. And fucking, you know, talk about the good old days, the <laughs> antebellum days. Back the lady you, antebellum days. You had when a you couple, went of, to that couple of midnight fellas <laughs> helping you out around the house. <laughs> midnight fellas. <laughs> hey, it's not me, it's the hat talking. <laughs> That's people that like to stay out late at night <laughs> <laughs> Doing work <laughs> Or whatever <laughs> They choose of their own free I've will had, I've converted all my nocturnal units <laughs> That way they don't overheat In this Georgian sun <laughs> Oh fuck So alright Panama hat So Bill Maher not guilty Basically that's the point <clears throat> yeah, I mean that joke just sucked. That's all. That's what offended me was that it was a horrible bit that bombed. I think it's the funniest thing he said in years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was the, so, problem, the problem. He was said it like a bitch. Yeah, he's, he's not like cool. uncomfortable with it. He knew he when he first he goes, it. he goes, he goes uh, out in the fields, and he's already bombing. Hundred like, percent. He's referencing slavery, and it's already uncomfortable for, for no reason. Involved. <laughs> and then he goes, uh, 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 house nigger. <laughs> And then everyone's like, boo. No, he said, and he's like, clap for me. And then they clap. <laughs> he went soft Which is day. exactly how that fucking, that clip went. He went soft yeah. day, which was like, he was trying to sound, it was even worse for him almost yeah, to go like, soft he day. He just bombed, dude. Yeah. He's I not saw, fucking, like, don't try that shit. What but at the that? same time, like, like, 
Nick and I were talking about this yesterday, but like no one cares when Louis used the N word. He had a whole special. Because it was fucking funny. You can't bomb if you're going to drop N bombs. Yeah, but yeah. like it, that's wh- the point. It's what? the same reason that Louis gets away with doing rape jokes. Yeah, uh, which it, even funny. Lindy tried to address in her like fucking article, like, oh well, but if you do them the right way, it's like that joke is it's still just a rape yeah. joke. It's not punching up. There's no, nothing, yeah. there's nothing. There's nothing to analyze there. Well, it's other just than Louis it's a funny cool. joke that's about rape. It's just yeah. Bill Maher sucks, and that's why he's not allowed to use the N word. But it just ultimately, but though, that's, if, is that's it a funny? stupid standard. That's a really it's stupid not, standard. It's not. It is. It's just. It is. The I hate. To, to I hate to defend usage of the N word, but like that is really like it's completely arbitrary. It's the risk you take, dude. That's the point. Like whenever there's like a free speech argument, it's always like open micers that want to do abortion bits. No one's saying you can't. Say something fucked up, but you have to make it funny. Yeah, of course it's all arbitrary. It's offense. I mean, it's like yeah. it's people's subjective and people feelings, will, and people will still get mad at the. Some people will still get mad if it's not funny, but that's like, or even if it is funny, but it's like you can't do anything. Well, about you that. guys know my stance on Bill Murray. He's my favorite comic. Yeah, I think he's, he's a personal hero. Of yours. He's a Your personal uncle. hero. Yeah, I you mean, I've been a stance on Bill Maher is barely hovering your asshole over his dick. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to hit. Until your quads yeah. give out. Like a, yeah. like a UFO trying to abduct his penis. <laughs> I think it's cool that he says he smokes grass. And I think I've been at a hunger strike with me and a bunch of 65-year-old Jewish men at the JCC uh-huh. on behalf of Bill Maher, Charlie Hebdo. Oh, yeah. Because this is about free speech and not letting the Muslims tell us what to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That is the one place he's really on, is his views about Islam. Yeah, really. He's been <laughs> said so many offensive things about Muslim yeah, people for sucks. years. He's a fucking blowhard, but whatever. That's, whatever, man. That's, that's all I'm that's saying. Name a comedian that isn't a fucking blowhard. That's what being that's a comedian That's the point is. of being a comedian. You're supposed yeah. to be a fucking you're blowhard. You're right. I guess it's just You're like, better at comedy if you're a blowhard. I guess it's just that it's like... I mean, we've already made fun the of The art of comedy is dumb people saying things assertively Con- in a stupid way. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> and that's what makes things funny. Is when you barge in the room and you say, what's going on here? Oh, that's fucking stupid. Here's how a smart guy like me would say it. <laughs> and, then, and then you say house nigger. And then that's comedy. He went soft A. Anyway, fuck Bill Maher. Um, how about that guy who threatened to fight ISIS with a sword or whatever? That was pretty the good. The British guy? Yeah. What are you talking about? Did you see that? Some fucking British Some British loser. guy was like, uh, he'll fight ISIS with a sword, and he'll give him 50 grand if they kill him. Tally ho, ISIS. Come <laughs> yeah. here. I have a sword. <laughs> yeah. England sucks. If you had a sword, what kind of sword would you get? You'd it's have a little musketeer honest. sword. Claymore? Yes. Or uh, big a buster ass. sword, a big but two buster swords, big ass broad a double sword. a double sided buster sword. Hell yeah, like dude. Darth Maul, except it's <laughs> yeah, two buster huge swords. Shit. Oh, I would go thin. Uh, yeah, you get a musketeer, little musketeer. Bullshit, yeah. yeah, I'd go Blake speed over power. You yeah. know, yeah. And then I'd snap it and I'd fucking kill you. No, nope, not because I'm too quick. I'd de- I'd fucking behead you. I'd have a fucking. A- I'd have double axes and twirl them. Yeah. You know, I'd be that guy. Wow, the fellowship of the cum, dude. Yeah, dude. We got all the different I'd have double types of axes. Weapons. Nick has the big ass broadsword. You have a little gay ass musketeer. I'd be more a bow and arrow guy. I like to say far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, like the know. elf. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or like one of the female hobbits. <laughs> it's just in the background hobbit. of the movie. Maybe one of you that's like at that, that birthday party for Bilbo at the beginning. There weren't female hobbits. There were? No, no it was an I've all never male, seen those It was movies. an all male population. No, there's Did they fuck hobbits? each other? Um, I'm pretty sure it's all boys. And I'm pretty sure they're having a pretty good time in the shot. <laughs> You're thinking that's, of the dwarves. There's no dwarf girls. Are there? I don't think there are. Who do they fuck? They, Humans. Oh, nice! They fuck big ass. Women. Wait, what was Liv? What was uh, Liv Tyler? An elf. elf. Not nah, that's not a dwarf. Yeah. No. Can they fuck dwarfs? I just love that. Like dwarfism is a real thing. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, "Yeah, it's a fantasy world, and the different species are humans, elves, dwarves." And you're like, Th- "Those are also humans." Koreans. Yeah. <laughs> Sri Lankans. Right. <laughs> uh, this is the island of the amputees. Um, yeah, I would fuck Liv Tyler in that movie. I saw that. You wow, know? you're really going out on a limb. Yeah, there. well, I would, man, dude. Even though she's got like, you, you know, know, I know it's just a, I know mouth. it's just an expression, <laughs> but I would love to see Stav literally go out on a limb. <laughs> <laughs> just 
<laughs> some tree. It would be a, a, is it a big ass <laughs> limb? <laughs> yeah, you're trying to get some berry at the end of it. Hell yeah, dude. As long as it's a big limb, I'll do it. Yeah. I'm fucking agile. Dude. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm more agile than you think. No, no, no. Yes, I am, bitch. It's going to be great when you get stuck in a tree someday trying I to get berries. F- <laughs> and the fire department has to shoot you down. <laughs> bee stings all over your body. <laughs> I'll fight all those honey. bees for honey, dude. You're such, um, you're such a poop bear. I'll fi- I'll face you in a test of agility, Adam. And what was the thing day. about Winnie the Pooh? It was the Christopher Robin was imagining it. It was a fever dream that he was using to. Um, uh, uh, no, while was he was getting molested. Be, yeah, it was supposed to be like his son's imagination. It was all Christopher Robin's imagination. He was blacking yeah. out. Christopher Nolan. Christopher Nolan. So there, the, the poo is the the dream is is Christopher Distract Robin himself inside that dream mm-hmm. is the poo is bear. Poo bear. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, what's inside that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Why'd you even ask me that question? I don't know. I thought you. What did like you ask? Have some magic. For what did us. you ask? Uh, what's inside the dream? Inside the dream. Oh, no. Le- me me getting head from that French lady in Inception. Oh, cool. <laughs> What's your name? Mar- Marianne Cotillard. Uh, can I talk uh, about something? Uh, just Marianne that, Cotillard. Probably piss people off. Cotillard. Chris Nolan sucks, dude. Oh my god! I wouldn't say he sucks, but he's like he definitely sucks. he was Come overrated on. after the Batman movies. Memento, the Batman, movies Batman. Memento's cool. Memento's all right. Batman does not suck. Batman does yeah, not does. suck. They don't suck. That's dude. wild. That's a wild needed. stance. Batman Begins is good. The other two kind of suck. Oh, no. the Joker one sucks, dude. Dark. The, all the Joker parts are Shut tight. The Otherwise, fuck Dark Knight sucks. is oh. Dark Knight is good. It the, rules. Yeah, the third no. one, Dark Knight Rises, is the kind of sucks. My whatever, dick. but it's only because it's like this anti Occupy thing. It's all four hours long. So like, what? They're like way too long. He doesn't know how to edit a movie. Shut. Th- oh, he does. Inception know how to edit sucked. A movie. I'm sorry. Inception, Inception sucked. Inception was fine. Inception was. Inception was stupid. It was very overrated. It yeah, was, it was it overrated, was but whatever. It was stupid. It was like blown out of proportion. Like Memento was cool because it's like, oh, this is like a cool, interesting short yeah, story yeah. that they turn into a movie. Inception could have been the same thing, but like. It's this huge blockbuster that, like, everyone's like, wow, I had to see it a couple of times to understand it. It's like, no. well, you're fucking <laughs> yeah, there's a nothing. retard yeah. if you can't. <laughs> also, that space movie with Matthew McConaughey was the biggest piece of shit. Yeah, that I movie. Didn't see that. That, that movie, movie was bad. absolute Which piece was, like, of kind shit. of, like, anti-environmentalist, too. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was completely, yeah. yeah. And then the end, the whole secret to the universe was love. It was just, like, yeah. you're just waiting for, like, what the... Bullshit. Yeah, it was just, like, oh, God. This Sounds stupid. Christopher Nolan's also clearly has... He's somewhere on the spectrum, like cannot connect with other human with human emotions, and like you can you can who tell cares? that throughout the entire. Are we, who are we to judge art of people that are on the spectrum? I mean, I just say if a movie is good or not, if I like to watch it um, or not. But to say that the Joker Batman's bad is a no. The Joker parts were tight. Like Heath Ledger was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not it was cool complaining shit about it. that. It's I an don't action think, movie. I don't think it's like the fucking... Uh, the the one bank with, robbery scene. It opens great. There's a lot of cool fucking scenes. The shit with uh, um, Al Pacino where he's in Alaska. That movie. Oh, I can't go to sleep. I haven't slept in weeks. Insomnia. What's that movie? Yeah, that movie sucks oh, pretty much. I've seen that. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, Christopher Nolan's crazy overrated. That's um, fine. That's just me. Who do you think is good? Who do I think is good? Okay, it's got to be black and white. It's got to be in French, right? <laughs> There's got to be at least four gay guys having sex with yes, each other. In yes. In every single shot. See? I love it. You know? Um, there has to be some existential themes. Mm-hmm. You know? You, there you has like to be, movies with no plot or point. Oh, or love the no like plot. That. Yeah. If Pitchfork that tells me. That shit sucks, dude. Yeah. Give me a story. I'm dumb as hell. I want a, I want a beginning, a middle, and an end. I don't want to have to like, fucking look at images I like, and see uh, what they mean. I like movies. Movies where they play chess against uh, the devil death or death, yeah, yeah. yeah. on a beach. That's yeah. what I'm. That's but that what shit, I'm, that that shit's in like a Looney Tunes. I only watch Bergman movies. <laughs> Ingmar Bergman, the Berg part I love, man, not so much. <laughs> As a feminist weenie, the thing I love the most is. Well, what I really don't like is when I have to pay the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, uh, you know, Fellini. You probably like Fellini or some shit. I like Fellini, I like, man. I like some <laughs> Fellini. I've never... I tried to watch one of those movies. Dude, I'm too stupid. Really? 
You gotta start with the basics first and then work your way up to that shit. Like what, Con Air? Like, I mean, how are you going to watch fucking, uh, uh, was it, Eight and a Half? <laughs> I watched Eight and, and a Half when I was 16. How are you going to fucking watch Eight and a Half if you haven't seen, uh, uh, like... Predator? Uh, yeah, or No <laughs> Retreat, No Surrender. <laughs> you know? You're right. No, you're right. I'll watch I'm sure that. you watch it when you're 16 because you're a fucking snob. Yeah. And you sat there and you said, oh, I got oh, this is good. Why this is good. I watched it. Eldest made it's me watch it. It's not that confusing. Eldest made me watch it when we were in college. I was 18. It's about a guy who bangs a lot of girls. What's what's confusing about, about that about movie? My li- it's my life story. Yeah, it's about... They Mar- optioned my biography without Dude, Marcello, telling Marcello... What's his name? Mastriani? Yo, that, that movie's sick. It's, well, why, why is that movie confusing? Anyway, shut it's up. It's got it is. funny looking people in it. Shut up. It is confusing. Why? I don't know. It was fucking. Not you a gotta lot read the words. On. Yeah, fuck that, dude. I really, actually, genuinely don't like subtitles or foreign language movies. But yeah, unless it's kung fu shit. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather just not. Or have if to there's read, titties, you know. I I always have to have subtitles on now. I like my hearing's fucked up. Why? I don't know. Too much Delamitri, dude. It's <laughs> it's like I I can't discern the words from like all the other noise. Hmm. I think I I think. Speakers for the TV might help. Yeah, that's why you had to get seventeen thousand dollars speakers. Yeah, you should get this thing. <laughs> you should get a wall of sound. Yeah, yeah. Mercedes speakers. My grandfather has a hearing aid that makes the television come through. Oh I yeah, should, I just made that. My grandfather's it, uh, dad, so. <laughs> but he did. He Wait, used to. That's just, just an infomercial. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it filters out the word. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> this is such a not funny. hearing aid. <laughs> Such a funny bit. <laughs> what? You don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. I Something guess it else. does suck when you get made fun of <laughs> for not being able to hear. <laughs> or not being oh, able to Oh, you took offense to that? You thought I was making yeah, fun dude, of you? Yeah, dude. I'm <laughs> this ableist. Dude, yeah. <laughs> that's great. We kind of do like an inclusive style of comedy, Adam. Yeah, we got to start punching down or up or whatever the fuck yeah, it up. is. up. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to fucking uppercut. The people, you know my right favorite, then? the way all that Balls. dumb shit cycles is like... Morons will start saying something, and then people that think they're stupid will, like, jokingly say it. And then it, the thing that they started saying in the first place becomes offensive because it's now, like, mocking. Right. Like, SJW is something people, like, identified as. Right, right, right. And then people started saying SJW. And then I remember, like, Lindy getting mad at Patton one time on Twitter for saying SJW. She's like, you have to understand how loaded that is. Ugh. <laughs> But yeah, all you that shit. Is punching yeah, down. it's like people. In a while, is, saying punching down, it'd be like, oh yeah, well, now you even mention the word punching down, it'll become off right. limits because you're I'm making down. Fun, you're making fun of the people that use terms like punching down or right side of history or any one of those dumb things. Well, that's why I just don't believe in just even using any words. Not punching at all. Really? Yeah, you don't punch. It seems like you use you way too many words uh, on this really? podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you piping up left and right. <laughs> Frankly, it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I really feel about it? Um. Anyway, guys, can uh, we finish talking about what hats we're gonna have for the summer? Should I get a bowler hat? <laughs> Look like yeah. odd job. Yeah, you should. <laughs> One that you can throw with like a Hell bladed, yeah, dude. bladed edge. No, I think you should go classic uh, Walter White. I love that Trump's just attacking the mayor of London on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, because he's Muslim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he was saying we can't be politically correct or whatever. Man, Trump uh, is bad. Yeah, I agree. Trump is That's bad. That's my stance. Yeah. Cafefe, yeah. right? At guys? least seven dead and 48 wounded in a terror attack, and Mayor of London says there's no reason to be alarmed. That's what Trump tweeted. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck Dude, are you talking? Fucking rules. <laughs> Did you taunting? see the one? He's the fucking president. <laughs> that shit is so weird. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I will um, say um, Ivanka is hot. You know, you forget because they're oh, all yeah, evil dude, and shit. Oh, yeah, dude. She would get it. She is hot as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jared probably is uh, fucked Ivanka good. Trump, you're on notice. Prepare to get fucked. <laughs> Do you think Jared if consensually? Kushner- if you want to, you can't sue me for saying that. <laughs> it's not a crime to say you want to fuck somebody. Do you think Jared Kushner fucks good? Probably not, right? No. How do you know? Probably not. How do you know? What do you mean? Uh, Does he take offense to that? That a slight Jewish loser? Oh, he's Jewish. Fuck good? I didn't know he's Jewish. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. They fucking keep kosher and shit. 
They do? Yeah, they take like Fridays off. Well, then he definitely fucks good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that Jews fuck the best. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Especially all of uh, Subway Jared's victims. <laughs> He only no, molested man. Jewish children? No, he's a Jewish guy. Jared so wait, Fogel? Jared? Yeah, Jared Fogel. <laughs> Fogel's not Jewish. Jewish. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Are you out of your mind? There's no way that's possible. Dude, it's my only skill is knowing who's Jewish and not Let's Jewish. find out. Jared Fogel. Yeah, not Jewish. He's definitely Jewish. He's, I'm not even going to bother looking that Sammy up. Sammy Davis guys. Jr.? Jewish. You know what? Yeah, we're not looking it up. <laughs> of is he's he Jewish. Did. Why? You guys get to say who's Jewish He looks Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. And he rapes children. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck Anyway So what's uh, up? What are you guys much. up to? <laughs> How much are you fucking, Adam? It seems like you've been fucking way too much Yeah, I have a new girlfriend I don't want it to get ruined So I'm not going to talk about it on the show That's nice. my, new th- my new policy Is not talking about personal things Oh, really? On the show, yeah Yeah, that's my new thing like, um, no one knows about Nick's personal life, because he... Well, Nick went... It was his mom's birthday. Happy birthday. You know what I got dude, your mom... don't talk about his personal life like that. Do you know what I got your mom for her birthday, What'd Nick? What did you get her? A cock ring. But guess whose cock she put it on? I don't know. Yours? Yeah, it was mine, actually. Great. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get her, Adam? Nick's mom? Yeah. Um, I got her just a, a beautiful piece of art <laughs> that just said one number, guys, and that was six million. <laughs> we never talk about that on the pod. Yeah, we have. You brought it up numerous times. Yeah, we've talked about I? it. Yeah, you did. Uh, independent of of the conversation you had, <laughs> I don't so think I don't think I have. I can fucking go back and find it. Well, if what you would want. you like to talk about, Adam? About our personal lives, we yeah. can we can you open seem it up. Seem bitter about something. I'm not bitter about anything. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. No. Would you like me to talk about my personal life? No. What about Nick? I don't want to know anything about your personal lives. All I care about is what's in this room right now. The three beating hearts that we're <laughs> that are all <laughs> the three sharing, beating cocks that are all sharing the same care. I actually finally went and saw Alien Covenant. Was it good? It's worth it just to watch uh, Fassbender kiss himself. Oh. <laughs> he kisses himself? Yeah, there's two Fassbender robots in the movie. Oh, they're robots. Yeah, and they make out at one point. That's hot. He's got a big ass dick, right? Yeah, he is a big dick. That's what people dick. keep saying. I mean, I appreciate you see that him movie, as, Shane? as probably the best living actor. He's good. He's, He's very the good. best. Nobody's better than Fassbender. Uh, I disagree. Who's better? Maybe DDL? Daniel Day? Yeah. No, I mean, what no, the fuck? Yeah, what, 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 because he just has like good amazing. selection of projects. What are you talking I, about? You he's could, amazing. You could put him in a. It, he's just never been in a shitty movie. That would be interesting to see him overacting. Put Daniel you know? Day Lewis in a shitty movie and and see how good of an actor he is. What does Michael that Fass, even mean? Michael Fassbender can be. So you should count it against him that he's in good movies. Yeah, that yes. means he's a yes, bad actor. Absolutely, yes. If you're a good actor, you you actively go out and try to put yourself in bad movies. So if there to was, prove if how there was, if there was to, <laughs> to own the libs to prove how good of an actor you are, you like uh, let's say there was a like a, a mediocre player on a very good team. Yes, would you say he's an amazing player? Yeah, like a guy who's on a pod, like the third mic on a podcast. Not absolutely no, analogous. No, it's not because he's not idiot. mediocre in good movies. He's amazing in good movies. He's he's okay in good movies compared to the oh with shut the up. Context. He was in fucking Gangs of New York, which is a piece of shit, and he was great in he that. He was terrible in that movie. No, oh, he completely was good in that. disagree. No, that movie sucked, I completely and he was disagree. just okay. It he was, was great in that. That movie was a piece no, of shit, but he was I great. I like that movie. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> Gangs of New York sucks. It I sucks, saw it when I was like And, and, and Gangs of New York is like evidence that if you put him in other... I mean, he's like overacting is okay, that Okay, well, this New is York completely guy. arbitrary, but I disagree. Oh, so you back good. out of it as soon as it's... I mean, we just have different opinions. We're allowed to have a fucking better actor than Daniel. Day oh, that's a that's a no. Hot and take. our di- our different opinions don't matter. I mean, look at when fucking like X Men First Class. Yeah, he was good in that. He's amazing. That in movie's it. not yeah. bad. Yeah, but it's a stupid fucking X Men. It's bad. So you compare his performance to everybody else, and he's really fucking good. He's a good. I'm not even Daniel denying that he's good. Have, Daniel Day Lewis didn't have a, have a a, a a a better performance than Leonardo DiCaprio did in that movie. Leo was good. I don't know. Also, his voice in Lincoln was funny. Yeah, that's based on like That was the real voice I know, but it's funny sounding Nobody knows what the fucking real voice is I'm Abraham Lincoln No, that's not what he did 
<laughs> he was real high. He had a high voice, though, but he found I'm out. He read the documents, dude. He read, he read all the documents and found out he had a high he voice. He had like a Cernovich voice. Yeah, he lisped. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt also, you think he's going to be a tough guy. He sounds like a, like a gay rich guy. Yeah, but he is a tough guy. Yeah, but it doesn't matter what he sounds like. Yeah. Teddy Roosevelt will kick your fucking ass. Oh, for sure. He was tough and smart. He read like three books a day. Well, there was nothing else to do back then. Yeah. You could either go to he the would, war with, in the Philippines. Or read books. Or read books. He would he would be a Rogan guy if he was alive today, though. Yeah, probably. No, he was MMA. too smart for that. No. He was too smart. Again, book. All he did was read what books. What do you mean he was too smart for that? He was too smart for to listen to, like, No, he nonsense. wasn't. Oh, I thought you meant, like, be a Rogan type of guy. No, to be a fan of the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, he, I don't think the president would be listening nah, he would. to the podcast. Well, he would do what, MMA, that's, too. Well, yeah, that's he what would do MMA for sure. He would definitely do MMA. He might do MMA. Yeah, he'd be friends with Joe Rogan. He might be friends with he Joe Rogan. I don't think he'd be. A, I don't think he'd be. A <laughs> They'd go hunt J R E head. He would. He'd appear. All respect to Mr. He'd appear. Jo- Joseph Rogan. He, you know how Obama went on marriage. Teddy Roosevelt would go on the Joe Rogan experience. Do you think so with Alex Jones? No. Whatever. Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, respect. Who's respect your favorite president, Adam? Me. Polk, the gay one? No. Yeah, James Taylor. <laughs> no, yeah. Zach Fire and died. Zach Taylor. Fire and Rain, President John. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I think, you know, this is obviously like a real hipster opinion. Mine wasn't Taft, Johnson, by the way, Johnson was pretty cool. <laughs> Who? Lyndon? Yeah, he was cool. He, he talked had, about finger fucking. He, yeah, he was like a freak. He was obsessed with his dick. Um, he, you know, he was married to a lady. He had a big dick, I think. A lady named Lady Bird. Lady Bird. <laughs> Um, Lady Bird, you know Lady Bird swallows. La- Larry Bird. Lady Bird, <laughs> Lady Bird snowballed. <laughs> That's how she got the name. Yeah, Larry, Larry Bird Johnson. Larry Bird Johnson. Um, he was tight. I mean, Great Society was obviously good. I think uh, he got yeah. dragged. Didn't run for a second term. Hey, hey, LBJ, how many kids did you fuck today? Uh, he used to do interviews while he was naked swimming in the yeah that was tight and he would intimidate people by just being naked and shit he was a texan you know he was a real maverick yeah texas i've been to his hometown really Really? yeah it's like literally nothing (laughs) there's just nothing yeah also he's not a lawyer he's a he was a school teacher oh that rules yeah and he was a fuck he knew how to get shit fucking passed in the damn yeah congress dude my man was a consummate politician yep i fuck with him FDR, of course, eats pussy for sure. He's fucking paralyzed he has polio. and he's still <laughs> fucked. Yeah, dude, he's paralyzed and he's still fucked. You know my man was so good at eating pussy. Best presidents to eat pussy. FDR number one. I I guess Bill Clinton's up there. Uh yeah, I guess. I don't like to think of my presidents in such ways. Yeah. <laughs> that is disrespectful, they, I agree. They, their pants need to be up and their faces on the money. And that's <laughs> the oh, stars and stripes. I don't think Obama was good at eating pussy. Why? I don't know. But he's so cool. I think Obama didn't cheat. He's so cool, and he makes me feel cool as an Obama voter. <laughs> it makes me feel cool to vote for him. Like, <laughs> like suddenly Martin Lawrence would come in my apartment and hang out with me <laughs> and talk about what a cool guy I am <laughs> because I like Obama. Yeah. And all those guys on the bus that I'm afraid of will finally accept me. <laughs> because you're a Shepherd Fairy t-shirt. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's up, guys? And they'll teach that me was their the cool best. handshakes. I probably have said it. I probably mentioned it before in the podcast, but it was the best how the Shepherd Fairy T-shirt went to the guy who owns Urban Outfitter, who was like the biggest John McCain, one of the biggest John McCain. Really? Yeah, yeah. So it was like complete hypocrisy. People were wearing those Obama T-shirts as fashion, but like Damn. giving money to his opponent. Damn, <laughs> business. Yeah, um, businesses and rich people can suck my dick, dude. Until we become rich as hell. Dude, we already are. <laughs> what yeah, part of nine hundred dollars in in haberdashery? That's true. Do you not understand? Nine. What's nine hundred dollars? We. Uh, I'm. I just. He's lied calling we, back. We a, bought. We a, bought nine hundred dollars in hats. Oh, the hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about those hats. I do. I really do want a Panama hat, though. If any of our listeners manufacture Panama hats and happen to live in, you yeah. know, Central America and want to do like a housing swap thing where you can take my room and I can take your bungalow in Panama. <laughs> oh, you want to go to Panama? Yeah, then, <laughs> you don't want a hat. <laughs> and wear, No, I'm going to wear all their hats. Ah, uh, interesting. If I have any kind of cigar chomping, mm-hmm. uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, illegal money laundering yes. uh, 
friends down there. And Freshly rolled little cigars. Oh, I like those. The cigarillos. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Little, tiny, yeah. Yeah, that's they're cool. sweet. Yeah. Let's and be then all you do, guys. If you live in Panama, all you do is you sit in a cafe and get drunk at 11 a.m. and then meet with old CIA friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen you in years. <laughs> Chub, yeah, if I, I said, you know what I said? I said, shoot me in the head if I'm ever going to see Charles again. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You fucking piece of shit, son of a bitch. Yeah, uh, you, you what do you need? <laughs> I Must, just need you wouldn't be making this meeting with me if you didn't need something. <laughs> one last mission, baby. Hell yeah. We got to depose one last head of state. Yeah. I'm trying to be like when James Bond goes to Cuba and Goldeneye. Mm -hmm. You know, that's cool. Yeah, drives around. Wait, that that oh, in Goldeneye. I thought you meant Goldfinger. Goldfinger. He goes to Jamaica. Yeah, starts off in Jamaica. Yeah, with all those red stripe. With those yeah, those red stripe (laughs) bottles. Yeah, yeah. With the fucking uh, Calypso guys. I haven't seen Gold. Is Yafit Koto in that? In Goldfinger. Finger. Yeah. Wait, wait, is who in it? Yafit Koto. Who's that? That African actor. I don't remember. Uh, oh, like as his boy? Like his boy, right? I think so, yeah. He's like the fisherman guy? I, I can't remember. I don't fucking remember either. All I remember is uh, is the girl's bikini on the beach. Uh, you know? Um, I've, <laughs> I've seen... I think I've seen all the Pierce Brosnan ones. <laughs> it's fine. And, yeah, uh, I saw all of them in theaters. The Halle Berry one? Now that was some good beating off. Tomorrow brother. is that? That's not tomorrow never dies. That's uh, world is not enough. I don't remember. He's he's guy who's whipping that Aston Martin. I had that GameCube game. That was a good game. The the James Bond GameCube game. Goldeneye was the only good one. And if you go back and play Goldeneye now, it fucking sucks. Yeah, it sucks, Dick. Well, I'm not with all this Goldeneye nostalgia. First person shooters because I I had PlayStation. I didn't have N64. Yeah, well, it's completely different mechanics. I mean, like no Is other it? no game plays like Goldeneye other than like Goldeneye, Perfect Dark, and Time Splitters. Oh, yeah. maybe that's just the excuse I've been using. Yeah, if you suck at first person shooters on console, it's because you didn't play Halo. I never played Halo. That's why I suck, because yeah. I didn't have Xbox, yeah. and I never played Halo. Yeah. I had like friends that played Halo, and now, now I'm terrible at video games. Yeah, I'm bad at them, too. I like the Needler, though. That was my favorite gun on Halo. It's because it's just cheating. <laughs> you like, fucking don't have to aim. Come suck the Needler's dick, I would yeah. say to my opponents. That's cool. <laughs> Before I kill them with the Needler. Yeah. <laughs> And by opponents, I'm, I'm going to get into no scoping people this year. Ooh, that's the goal for me is to learn how to sniping people with no scope. Yeah, I want to learn viola. I want to learn how to play viola, <laughs> and I want to learn how to no scope. <laughs> Those are my goals. High culture. Yeah, for 2017, I'm going to take a calligraphy course. <laughs> and I'm going to learn how to do 360 no scope headshots. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. fuck I'm excited to get back into gaming culture I hope it I, I, I've been bored mostly With all the video games I've played I haven't played shit dude It's it's cool to be a part of that Extremely but reactionary do, autistic community <laughs> You never do story mode on games Right? What you you just play online? No I mean I played Resident Evil mostly And I oh. played like maybe a third of that Final Fantasy game Oh, oh, yeah, yeah right. I remember the Final Fantasy Did you give days. up on that? No, it just got boring. All that fishing and hanging out with your gay friends? That, that, f- honestly, that was a great way to just waste the entire day. <laughs> yeah. It's like just sitting here digitally fishing. Yeah, dude. Ever since I mentioned, I remember that game Custom Robo, I've been itching to play. I was looking at it on eBay. I might buy one, or I might just get a fucking... Uh, Adam plays a game called Custom Homo, where he <laughs> orders specially designed gay guys online. <laughs> <laughs> has them shipped from Peru. Are they real? <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, real. Yeah, you fuck them. So what I get like I spec them out? Yeah. Yeah. So what you, get, you go to like it's like, like it's basically it's like Scion for gay guys where mm-hmm. you know <laughs> yeah. it's got a huge option sheet. So you start off with your you know your like gay guy XB. Yeah. And then you put some underbody lights on them and yep, some fucking yep. bullshit plastic mm-hmm. all over his eyelids and I think scions are cool. Maybe like a spinner asshole. Spinner asshole for sure. Yeah, the, the free will spinner? assholes. Yeah. Um, Adam, what's like the weirdest thing you've said into a guy's ass? <laughs> the weirdest thing while going yeah. 
while going extremely down on him. <laughs> I mean, uh, hallelujah, maybe. Is it called, we got you guys' ass out. I want to go back normally, on you. I don't normally. I don't normally. Yeah, believe. I went back on Sarah last night. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, I ate her ass <laughs> while standing. Went brown. Uh, um, I don't know. Are you, you want me to answer that question, or no, were you just saying that to 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 I, be mean to me? I'm being mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm being mean. As, that's my. I'm, I got to lose the weight I gained in Los Angeles, and I don't think exercise works. I think being mean. It's is just what yeah. You know, I know too, that's why I got too sunny and optimistic out there. I know that's why I'm I'm I, target because I'm a skinny skinny bitch. Right? You are a skinny bitch. Dude, I feel guilty. I ate carbs. I was a Emphasis bad girl. on bitch and skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I had a slice of pizza and half a cookie yesterday. I was a bad girl, boys. I had no, I had no carbs for like four weeks. You know, um, you had zero carbs, and, that, and I, that's and not I, possible. I well, you know, I had fruits. Yeah, there's carbs. Those in are that. carbs. Yeah, but not processed. Let me. Anyway, well, you I didn't ate have some bread, yesterday. I felt you're bad. saying. Yeah, shut up, bitch. Okay, cool. Well, I just you know who's with lie. Adam here. You're both you're both bitches, and you can you're suck my cock. You're wading into to, to dangerous territory talking about diet as a fat man. You have no idea. Yeah, what you're dude, about. I'm looking for sympathy from my good friends. I know I'll get it. <laughs> I know I'll get it from. No, you won't get sympathy from me until you educate yourself. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> what and on train. what? What? How do I educate myself? You just need to train like me and Nick. It would be like if if I was me as a alcoholic. I was sitting here and I'd be like, "Yeah, I switched. Uh, you know, I was really good. I didn't. I drink, did I didn't Ultra. drink any hard liquor for like fucking. Yeah. You know, weeks on end. No, it's different. No, it's the same. It's the same shit. I've been drinking light beer, which is like not as bad for you. So it yeah. means I'm not an alcoholic. Dude, I've been, drink, I've been. I drink going, a suitcase of Coors I've Light. Been, <laughs> I've been a damn paleo warrior. Yeah. Now, did I eat all the skin ate, off a of pork shoulder until I was right. sick one day this week? I, yeah. Yes. I'm on a paleo diet, no carbs. I ate five bushels <laughs> of apples in one sitting and gave myself fucking week long diarrhea. No, it was no apples. I it overdosed on fiber. It was meat. I don't think that shit works. How would you know? You don't know my struggle. Basically, all those diets work because you're restricting the types of food you can eat. So you're exactly. not so eating you're as much. You're eating fewer calories. You're eating fewer calories. That's it's it. all about calorie intake. There, no, it's, some of it is about like insulin. Yeah. So if you're eating things that have like a high, like uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, like high GI index or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then you're gonna fucking jack up your insulin levels, and you're gonna store more of the calories as fat. But for the most part, yeah, it's just count your calories and you'll lose weight or gain. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just get fucking jacked. Yeah, that's, that's my what point. you can do. I'm gonna do squats, dude. Get my ass cheeks popping. After London attack, Prime Minister says enough is enough. Uh oh, Theresa me? Yeah. May? All right. A little bit of terrorism was okay. <laughs> We've gone too far. Yeah, she's saying we need to censor the internet. That's the solution. Yeah. That'll stop she terrorism. She said that the internet is the is terrorist safe space. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the shit that makes me like, no, please just be racist. Yeah. Please just fucking, I would much rather have an Islamophobe than somebody that wants to hurt the, my precious internet. <laughs> There's a hierarchy of yeah. things that are important to Nick. <laughs> no, I mean, if, like, the solution, though, is to limit fucking, you know, free speech and, you know, unfettered communication, then, yeah, no, I think racism is much less evil than that. I don't fucking have a problem with a bunch of, you know, drunk hicks or whatever using racial slurs, but... Well, there's different types of racism, Nick. Uh, okay. Like, what, like institutional. Yeah, like cops killing black people. That's sure. also racism. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. We should go. We should do away with that. I understand. There's like internet comments, but there's you know. Well, that's like what they want to do. They want to get rid of internet comments. What's up with that Teresa May lady? She's a fucking. She's uh, a piece of ass. She's, that's what she's she is. Hot, she dude. is hot. I would she's fuck hot. her. <laughs> sex with her already. I'd fuck that powdered wig right off her head. Right? Doesn't the prime minister have to wear one of those? Uh, everyone in Britain has to wear yeah. one. <laughs> Whenever you go, when you go to traffic court for driving on the right side of the road, which they'll ticket you for there. I learned that the hard way when the I went fu- there to be James Bond. 
Oh hell yeah, dude! Did you make it? Yeah, they actually they you know, they said I was too tough to be James Bond. <laughs> I said I'm sorry, but James Bond isn't you know he's kind of a bitch. You're too alpha. Yeah, you too fuck alpha. too many women while here. Right. I can't hear this, dude. What's his name's body isn't even cold yet. Who? Daniel. Daniel Craig. Sir Roger Moore. <laughs> oh. Has anyone said uh, more like Sir Roger Less? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. Has Maybe. anyone done that joke less alive? over and over again? That's yours, dude. Did that get a million retweets on Twitter? No, I don't. I don't know if Is I saw that. Rushing to their computer to fucking <laughs> uh, 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 blah, uh, Roger Less. <laughs> Roger Moore was the one that, like, in the opening. You know how they always have that opening sequence. And then they have like the circle thing, and then they mm-hmm. shoot, and the then it goes red. Thing. It's the inside of a gun, you fucking. Okay, man. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he was always the one who who had his non-shooting hands like up gaily when he'd fire the gun. He'd like he'd like flare his non-shooting hand up. He's no. British. He's tired. No, of, his hand is tired him. from fingering. His John wrist. Connery and Daniel Craig and them never did that. Yeah, because they didn't finger fuck as much. Uh, as Roger Moore Sean Connery Did we discuss how he was bald the whole time? Of course He was also a competitive bodybuilder Before he was James Bond Yeah People don't know that Yeah it's me. We have a lot in common We were both bald Well I'm not bald but Should I start wearing wigs? <laughs> yeah. yeah My friend got one <laughs> Really? Yeah he wore it at a wedding Shut up It you looked f- good Your friend legitimately got a wig? Yeah yeah it looked good And, and people He's, just allowed like, that to put, happen? He put money in I how got much? nervous about it. He was like, "Yeah, I'm getting a rug," and I'm like, "What? Really? Just be, just do you." And then he, I saw it, and then I was like, "Damn, it looks really good." I do, gotta tell does you, does he tell people? Yeah, he was like, "Yo, just check it out." That's <laughs> what Billy Zane does. Yeah. Billy Zane started to go bald, and he was like, "I'll just shave my head and wear wigs." Damn, I'm about to do. This. I saw some shit you know, where you can like, tattoo your head, <laughs> little fucking. So it looks like Billy he's Zane. That's what Billy LeBron Zane's does. Greek, huh? Billy Zane's Greek. Is he? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You He's can kind of tell we have kind of the same facial structure. Yeah, like kind of the same well, jawline. Yeah, you're both, both the bald. bad guy from Titanic. You're both the reason <laughs> the Titanic song. <laughs> <laughs> we so, both have the ability to sink ships. <laughs> <laughs> Just not even how fat works. Except I would never get cucked by Leonardo DiCaprio, dude. I would be great the wreckage my of bitch. the Titanic, and you're on every piece of debris, <laughs> not letting anyone else on. <laughs> uh fuck I'm gonna do that Should I Should I tattoo my head What do you think dude Yeah Just little Little black dots No like a Like a Lego haircut <laughs> like a, cool a swirl On yeah. my forehead <laughs> yeah. That'd be a good look <laughs> Do you think Have you tried How much would it cost To get you to like Just grow out What hair you have For like seven months How much would it cost I don't know. I, I think it would look pretty fucking. It funny. would look funny. I want to go a little balder before you I do that. You would look cool. Yeah, I. Agree. I want to go a little balder so that I have like these weird, like bald, completely bald spots. Because right like, now just it's just thin like at the top. thin and weird, yeah. you know. But when my bald spot gets a little bigger, I'm gonna grow out a dumbass like ponytail with some shit out the front. That's I can't look wait. Good. I can't wait. Then I'm then I'm I support hit, that then I'm hitting Panama. You hats. can do it now, dude. I mean, the back is pretty sparse. It's it's bad, but it's. I'm talking like I want you to. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's pretty stupid. The thing with hair is, like... LeBron should have just the, let the, it The go. more it grows out, the thinner it looks. Right. No, I know. It doesn't that's thicken why, up as That's it why I keep out. it as tight, you know, as tight as I can. But I'm not there. I'm not ready for it yet, but I will. At one point in my life, I will do that, you know, and just fucking then really lean into the Hawaiian shirts and Panama hats and... That's when I'm an ex-CIA Panama guy when I got that bald ponytail. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, would, I don't have to I really listen wanted, to anyone uh, the agency intake anymore. intake agent. <laughs> That's what CIA stands for. You know, one of my goals is is uh, being an amphibious plane. You know? Mm-hmm. Like a pontoon boat? No, like a plane that you can land on water. So a pontoon That's boat. That's what a pontoon, pontoon boat is. pontoon boat's called? Yeah. That's what it's called? Well, there's little things with the... It. I thought a pontoon boat was just a boat. Or a pontoon plane. Pontoon like a plane. pontoon plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got that those two little leg things on. Yeah, that's cool. That's what I think of when I think of CIA Central America. Just got landing on a beach and then just yeah, rolling yeah. your pants up. Yeah, walking up. Should we get seersucker suits? <laughs> of course we should. Marcus, good to see you. You son of a bitch! I haven't <laughs> seen you in years. <laughs> what about linen suits? Should we take a? Tri- oh yeah, we're gonna take a trip to the fucking. Eastern no, Nick shore. doesn't like vacation. Yeah, I don't like vacations unless we're going to Mecca. 
<laughs> for the uh, the plan I discussed <laughs> off the podcast. What do you mean to praise Allah? Shh, shh, shh. Operation, shh. Operation, uh, Charlie, Hebdo. taste of their own medicine. <laughs> 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 A little secret plan I've been cooking up with one of my friends down in Panama. <laughs> he's pretty drunk, but he's a smart guy. If you need info on how to covertly get to Mecca, which I'm still like, I'm literally days away from finding out where Mecca is. Yeah, in terms of country, it's yeah. not Israel. It's is in it? Saudi Arabia. It's in Israel. It's right in the middle of Tel Aviv. <laughs> no. So if you want to blow up Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of another program I'm running called Operation Two Birds One Stone. <laughs> you know about you know about Israel's nuclear program that they lie yeah, about. Yeah, what is it? The the, the Operation Samson. 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 Yeah, yeah, the Samson. yeah, Project Samson. Yeah, the Samson uh, 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 initiative or something. Yeah, the plan is like they lie. If, if they, they lie. First of all, everyone's like, you have nuclear weapons. They're like, what? Uh, uh, they just won't. No. De- they won't deny it. But it's estimated that they have like 200 nuclear warheads. But apparently... And Israel's the only country that hasn't like signed the nuclear nonproliferation. Geez, so the plan is, if there's ever a nuke headed to Israel, they'll just fucking nuke themselves and take out all the surrounding countries. No, it, that's not what it is. They're going to nuke London and Rome. What? They'll, they'll nuke all the... No. Your, yes, it is, dude. Look it up. No, dude. Samson was... The story of Samson yeah. is a guy who killed okay. himself. So he I just, understand the story of Samson, but the he plan is... He's hair. a suicide gonna, bomber, they, technically. To make sure that the rest of the world protects Israel, because the rationale is the world stood by while the Holocaust happened, so they're not going to let that happen again, so they'll nuke Europe if Europe doesn't protect Israel in the case of like what? I don't Israel think that's the plan. facing certain destruction. I don't think that's what it is. Look it up, dude. That's wild, dude. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even make sense I to don't call like it Operation that. Samson. Can I be honest? I don't like that at all. It's that they'll blow themselves up and like take Jordan and Egypt and like all the fucking Didn't Samson's bitch cut his hair? Isn't that that story? Isn't yeah, that that Delilah story? cut his hair Delilah. while he was sleeping. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's what, what happened to me. <laughs> the Bible's t- Yeah, the Bible teaches you. You don't yeah. trust them. No, you don't. You know, first they give you the pussy and then oh, they want to, yeah. you know. The yeah. Bible, the Bible, absolutely. Has, that's the they most MRA, MRA yeah, part. Samson. Yeah. <laughs> Samson is what Samson teaches is a us. very MRA part of the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Why did she cut his shit? Because that the, his hair was his source of his power. Yeah, but why? I know, but why? First of all, how? Number one, because she got paid shit. off by like the Romans or the Greeks or whatever. So he was a Jew, Samson. He was a Jew, but he was super strong. Who are the strong Jews? Hair. There's gol- there's golems. Or well, golems are like monsters. They're made monsters. By Jews. And then there's um, Samson. Samson. And then there was uh, the guy that from the who are the Jewish the story of Hanukkah. That guy, uh, fucking Maccabee. Uh, Maccabee. Judah Maccabee. Okay. Uh, then there's the bear Jew from the <laughs> from Quentin from that movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jared uh, Fogel. Jared, Jared Fogel. Fogel. <laughs> <laughs> top five, top ten. Actually, like boxing, like in the early 1900s, was Jews. like a Jewish sport. Yeah, yeah. Bo- and basketball too. It, it, initially, basketball was a, was yeah. a Jewish sport. Yeah, everyone was five seven. Yeah, and no yeah. black people were allowed to play. You know, before and all they the white took people were <laughs> were horse racing or whatever. Uh, yeah, they were riding horses and uh, you, you know, know overseeing the factories, overseeing the fields. <laughs> Whoa, dude! What's a what's a What's a follow-up joke to someone saying the word fields? I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you know one? <laughs> I don't know of a good one. That's Look, pretty cool. Nick's uh, furiously trying to find the not furiously, Jewish no. conspiracy that his mom <laughs> talked about. It's on Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, what does it say? Uh, Project Samson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Israel must be like a mad dog, too dangerous to bother... We have the ability to take down the world with us, and I assure you that will happen before Israel goes under. Yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah. So, I don't think they have warheads up. pointed at London and Rome. I don't it think says, that's what Project Samson says. That's hold that on. Seems like. We possess several hundred atomic warheads and rockets, can launch them all at targets in all directions, perhaps even at Rome. Most perhaps. European capitals are targets for our Air Force. Who said quote that? General Moshe Dayan, Israel must be like a mad dog, too dangerous to bother. Well, I I agree. Staying corrected, <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. I think the point is that they could destroy the entire world. In like, the event that they're the facing that, like destruction, yeah, it's extinction. not that they would nuke themselves. It doesn't yeah. make any fucking sense. Well, that's what Samson did. 
No, he pulled down. It's he pulled he down. He pushed the, the columns. With him. Oh. He pushed the columns, and the temple collapsed on and top. of Killed him. everybody and killed everyone. So oh, it yeah, would be yeah. that they would nuke the world if ever, while they're basically. getting nuked. If they're about to get not nuked. Not even if they're about to get nuked. If Israel ever faced certain destruction, they would nuke the entire world. Yeah. To well, guarantee that the world... I agree world with that. And that's, that's Isn't that basically what policy. mutually assured destruction is? Sort of. No. I mean, that's between two countries. That's like right. nuclear parity between the United States and Russia. But that's essentially what they're doing with the whole world. They're saying yeah, if you it's fuck that our... we could just... If if no, but it's holding other countries right, that aren't right, right. responsible They have nothing accountable. to do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Um, well, nice try, but your little your little spin didn't work out. Well, I got to go back to Harry Reid's office. <laughs> I, got, I got some uh, I got some advocating to do. Um, anyway, so so back to back to Brooklyn, New York. Back to bedside. Back to the boys in this room. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about what Bill Maher? Guilty, nah, dude, not guilty. Bill Maher. I'm tired of him, dude. You're basically defending North Korea by agreeing with that. You're saying North, with Korea, what? North Korea should be able to have nuclear weapons. So you're opposed. To the I, idea of, you're opposed to the idea of, of non proliferation. I'm opposed to the idea of nuclear weapons. I don't think human beings should have the ability. You just to say end good. The world. You agree with it? I was being sarcastic. No, you weren't. Mm. What the you're fuck are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> that was your. Real don't feeling. tell I'm these just, monsters I'm just that shocked. I wasn't. You would, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Nick. <laughs> shut the fuck up. That you went out of your way to first. You know, obfuscate the details. <laughs> yeah, it of did. Samson you were tr- yeah, and force me to to delay precious riffing time because <laughs> we don't have a producer. Because you know how I feel about producers. <laughs> anyway, we all know what persuasion producers usually are. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, you fucking. Piece of shit. Fuck, fuck, yeah, dude. Man, I gotta wear more compression shorts. Yeah, they you look good, bro. They feel great. They feel great. You yeah. go no, you go no. Just dick skin on compression shorts. Com- I mean, compression shorts are or underwear. Underwear, yeah, nice. it's the same fucking thing. You nice. don't go out of your house wearing compression shorts. I do. Why? <laughs> just to get the boys to look at me, dude. Man, that looks <laughs> terrible. I fill out a pair of compression shorts. Nice. I'm, I'm trying to go. White men can't jump. Short shorts, long compressions underneath. Mm, that's you a, know that's very a look. very Woody Harrelson 1993 94 look. First of all, the title of that movie alone is reverse racism. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't watch it or dress anything like <laughs> anyone in that movie. Is yeah. that where Rosie Perez shows her tits? Uh, uh, I don't yeah, know. I, think I think so. so. Yeah, yeah. It Dude, is. she right. has got some all timers. She's she's them. I have, I have a very big crush on her in that oh, movie. In everything, right now. Not right now. I'd kill you to fuck her. I'd you'd I'd kill choke me. you with I my would, bare hands. I would kill you just to stop. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call the Samson option. I honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you <laughs> kill your friend. I have, so. <laughs> I have a missile pointed towards your house, and if Rosie Perez ever agrees to fuck <laughs> me, I will point it. I will pull the trigger immediately. <clears throat> well, boys, Rosie Perez. What? How? What's with the name Rosie? Mm, this is right? good. <laughs> yes, you know. Yes, absolutely. You ever think about that? Preach, Rosie. That's Preach. a good way. What to about go. Petunia? E? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about you? you never hear a bitch named Tulipy? <laughs> hey, folks, you don't know something I noticed. <laughs> never got a girl named uh, uh, Violet. Uh, Vi- uh, some of the some of the the bitches is named after flowers, but it's just the name of the flower. Yes. You know? Yeah. Woo! True. Daisy. They got Daisy. They got Woo! fucking Violet. Violet! Mm-hmm. They got Dandelion. Yeah. Sometimes. Maybe yeah. it's just, you know, black or something. <laughs> hibiscus. Hibiscus. That's an uh, I, woo, That's a, I know many a secretary <laughs> with an attitude problem named Hibiscus. <laughs> L apostrophe Hibiscus. <laughs> Known a couple of those down at the unemployment office where I go, but it's okay when I do it. But not when they do it. It's different for me. I fall on hard times. I'm trying to work. They're lazy. But me, I'm just, you know, the only thing I know how to do is operate levers on heavy machinery. 
It's my father did it. My grandfather did it. We, I'm, we are, I'm a 10th generation freight elevator operator. <laughs> I'm union protected, so I make $432,000 a year with overtime <laughs> to stand in a freight elevator and give people a hard time. But they're lazy. They're the lazy ones, not me. I'm union. I got a shirt that proves it. A shirt that I barely fit in. I would choose. I have a fucking house in Great Neck. Mortgage paid off. And I, ch- I choose to eat at Wendy's every day for cultural reasons. I got high cholesterol. Oh, and that, that'll do it, folks. Will it? I think. No, it won't. Oh, damn. Uh, not for good. me. I want to talk either. about I want to talk about Alien Covenant some more. All right, let's talk. I'm going to talk about the Alex next Kenny Star Powers. Wars movie. He's all right. He's okay. In was it. he funny in it? No, it looks weird. He's him, transitioning to being a serious. Him actor. and anything oh. is just like all I'm thinking is Kenny Powers. I love him, all I'm dude. thinking is that fucking is that boogie board with that fur flag weed boogie board. <laughs> That's the I want that so world. bad, dude. If anyone has a fucking hot tip on a confederate flag, That's weed where boogie we board, should go. We should go to Myrtle, dude. Let's go to summer. Myrtle Beach. The Have three to Myrtle Beach. No. Let's go somewhere Is trashy. Cool? I've never been there. Let's do I've it. I remember that was like the cool vacation spot, though. I've been to Charleston. Kid. Charleston's really nice. Charleston. We, should, we should buy property in OCMD. And Absolutely. become fucking beach boys. Dude, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I will do that. Let's be fucking beach boys. Oh, my God. Yeah, we I'm should trying go to figure to, some yo, bitch in secrets, yeah. fucking teens come secrets down from VA. Yeah. <laughs> yo, I'm straight up raping girls from Lancaster. <laughs> they come down here. Some of them from Ukraine. <laughs> They work the cotton candy shop. You can rape them. They can't do anything. They just got to go back to Russia at the end of the summer. They're here for work. Woo! Yeah, actually, I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need the next two weeks off at of Enterprise Rent a Car. It's yeah. Senior Week. Yeah, excuse me, but uh, I I have a lot of date raping to do at Secrets. <laughs> Does Secrets have sand in the club? Yes. Yeah, they got foam too. They got yeah, this fucked so it's up a shit. Lot of, it's uh, like your pussy. It's I horrible. love getting Don't hepatitis listen. at a foam party. <laughs> Let's yeah. do that Dude, this summer. Fa- a couple of years ago, like ten years ago, there was uh, uh, somebody called the police on a lesbian at Secrets because they thought she was Justin Bieber. Awesome. And they thought she, uh, they thought Justin Bieber was underage drinking at Secrets. Incredible! <laughs> so they called. Incredible! The fucking, yeah, the police had to show up, and this lesbian woman had to prove she wasn't like a seventeen-year-old <laughs> Justin Bieber. We should do a live come town at Secrets. Yeah, definitely. That's our mecca in Medina. That's our hottest Secrets. I've never been actually. Uh, yeah, I've never, I never went inside, gone into that but place. I've been to OC. Yeah, I've you have. Inside. When'd you go to OC? I went to OC where I was camping in Assateague. Ooh. And uh, there was that a crazy Island. There was a crazy where you storm. Fuck little horses. Yeah, he was he was camping at Astamouth. It's a camp <laughs> yeah, for Astamouth. It's a camp for guys like him <laughs> to meet each other. Um <laughs> Okay, Nick. <laughs> Thanks. Athletic right. super soldiers. <laughs> I was camping at Assateague and there was a crazy trying storm. out man. On undercare, um, I, got t- I don't know how the fuck to spell acetique. It's a s s a t. Do you expect me to be able to spell it and then do a uh, anal an sex? For hold on, anal sex soldiers <laughs> trying enormous assholes underground every day. That's not bad. I stopped listening. In the I think of that. that works. Anal sex soldiers trying <clears throat> enormous assholes every day underground greatly. Ah, fuck. It, I think that worked the first time. Anyway, continue. No, we just there was a huge storm. Our campsite got destroyed. And we slept. You should also get night. ATVs. Fuck yes, dude. We have to step our vehicle game up. I'm serious about a car up, or I went, a van, a mobile studio, dude. I want stand-up ski dudes. You know what I'm talking about? No. Sea dudes. I want, like, a, I want, I want like Oscar a, Meyer Wiener Mobile, a jet but ski, it's a but penis. You stand. But then the yes. penis has a face on it, and it's a beautiful lady's face. I like that. Whoa. That's inclusive. Yeah. Well, and by beautiful, dick? you mean fat. Yeah. And then on the on the sides, it's just facts about how many people communism has killed. <laughs> uh, just driving around Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> Educating the public. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what his point is. He became a millionaire off irony podcasting, and you know, I don't know. He's just a weird guy now. So, 
you know, he has a driver's license. We can't tell him not to drive the truck. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. The Cumtown Dickmobile. You think we could get a you float? Know be, you know, it'd be cool, too, to get a Prius a and then illegally modify it to coal roll? Hell yeah. Coal to what? Get a Prius. stack? <laughs> just confuse everybody? What's a coal roll? Uh, it's like it's like they 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 put those put stacks a, put on like their a kit on your pickup truck, yeah. Where it'll like artificially increase the the fuel air mixture for oh, like a, you press a yeah. button and then it fucking like dumps a shit ton more diesel fuel into the engine and so all this black smoke comes out. Nice, dude. And then you drive past Black Lives Matter protesters. <laughs> I'm serious. This is what they no, do. No, it's real. They <laughs> drive past Black Lives Matter <laughs> protesters. You've never seen these your trucks. No, no it's what real. They do. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, fuck you! And then they fucking cover them in soot oh and, yeah. my God. and exhaust. Dude, fumes. I'm so glad we left the Paris Climate yeah. Accords. I mean, it's like it's one thing to be like an all lives matter guy, but to be a black lives don't matter don't guy. Matter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is what all lives matter people are. I mean, that's No, they're much. just like all lives matter people just like don't get the point of... Right, right, right. ...of Black Lives Matter. It's not like they're... Uh, they no, also think they're just. It's like a lot of them also think that there's a coordinated assault on white like people. There's like ten percent of that. Moshe said something really funny uh, like a couple weeks ago, but like he, it was in regards to like something about like all lives matter, or like the, that category of people politically in general. And he's like, yeah, I mean, all of that shit makes sense if you like don't think about it at all. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, exactly. Any yeah. real thought into like what like what you're actually saying, then it does like it does make sense. Like I just if agree, you man. hear Black Lives Matter and you're just some dumb white guy, you're like, well, why specifically black? All lives right. matter. And I feel like that's the majority of of the All Lives Matter people. They're like hapless middle aged guys that happen to be on Facebook or whatever and then everyone wants to fucking jump down their throat because they're like not really thinking about the problem. Uh, I think you're no, generalizing no. a little bit there. But okay, that's, so let's hear you generalize in the other direction then, I guess. I just don't think that's the all of them. I think some of them are just trying to be Plenty of them are racist. didn't say all of them. I said a lot yeah, yeah. of them. No, but no, I you think didn't. your point is right. But also, that's not good. You should think about it for more than one second. You shouldn't just be a reactionary about it. What the fuck it. does it do? Because it's fucked because people are fucking dying Yeah, and but shit. I mean, what, what impact does it have if that older guy thinks about it or not? I think it, it makes I mean, a most times um, the problem is that, like it's, nobody's ever coming at these people with any kind of like good faith criticism or like really trying to have a conversation with anybody. That's it's that's always true. this bullshit. Like it's not my job to educate you or whatever. And that's like no, you know, I agree, you I agree with any, that. You don't have any real fucking interest in changing people's minds. It's about being you know morally superior. And ninety percent of cases, as far as anonymous online interactions go, or yeah. when you're talking to somebody in Facebook comments or on Twitter. But to be, f- I mean, Reddit. yes. But also to be fair, that's true of the people that say that shit. I'm sure they don't want to learn. I'm either. sure, but they're, it's uh, like they're also they don't know. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I, 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 no, I, I mean, there is a conception. We've talked about this before, but there is a conception that there is a coordinated assault on white life in this country. And there well, a lot, and a lot of people, is true. Yeah, white, what do you mean we've talked about it before? We mentioned it before on the show. I don't remember doing that episode. Oh, we got in trouble, remember? No. Because we were talking about Anthony Cumia when we talked no. about the white genocide thing. Oh. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, we weren't talking about white genocide. Well, this concept is real. that, like... Yeah, the 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 concept that like uh, oh, who cares? This shit is it doesn't. Yeah, this matter. shit's fucking it's dumb. Stupid. It really it's stupid. We shouldn't be discussing it. Point is, I'm right. You're wrong. What am I wrong about? Everything. Okay. Absolutely. And, I, and I'm everything. also right in a different way. You picked the wrong hat at the hat store the other day. You like the dumbest ones there. I want to like the one. coolest ones. Can we get all right? Can we do a trio? You of picked shopping? my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, well, I picked the one I wanted you to get, and you didn't get it. Did well, you, you, didn't you guys really get hats? Purple one. Like, did you get hats without me for What's that? Did you really buy hats with No, we didn't buy no, hats. No, dude. We okay. didn't buy hats. I what went into that retarded? store. Look, dude, I went into that store to buy you a floppy hat. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That's why I went there. <laughs> and then I tried on some for myself, and then I went back again the next day with Adam, again, to buy you a hat. And then we got carried away. Thank you. Putting the hats on and yeah. doing different characters. That's a fun time. And annoying that was the, a lot uh, of fun. Annoying the lesbians that work All right. We're go- we'll go hats. They're out, all man. unisex. <laughs> You know, not none of them had hats on. By the way, they uh, all had hats on. None of them. Not a single yeah, they one did. Of them that was their cool hair. Hat yes, on. they did. They all had hats on. What's up, bros? Yeah. Yeah. That's where they were. Right, I um, think we should stop now. All right. Sav really wants <laughs> to stop because he has a date. 